Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's, uh, it's really surprising to, to see so many advocating for this cigarette tax increase. I believe it's going to be $2 a pack more for inner city Philadelphians mainly. Mr. Mr. Speaker, this, this tax is going to be paid by those who can't escape the city. Mr. Speaker, the, the visitors to Philadelphia from the surrounding counties, they're going to make sure that they're taking their cigarettes to work with them. They're making sure that they're taking their, work, their cigarettes in to uh, see the Liberty Bell with them. This tax is going to be paid mainly by the people in Philadelphia that can't even afford to get out of the city for a day to find cigarettes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this, this tax increase on Philadelphians tonight, on those who smoke, Mr. Speaker, I don't smoke, never have, don't think anybody should. But I think it's just wrong, Mr. Speaker, to impose this on the poorest of the poor in inner city Philadelphia to supposedly pay for the kids when we know it's really just to pay for the teachers union's demands, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's just for, the, for those that will be voting, the majority of the Democratic caucus that will vote for this tonight, Mr. Speaker, have been advocating to expand Medicaid under Obamacare. Well, the people that they want to put into that program are the very same people, some of them, that are going to have to pay this new tax. I mean, I, I smiles on the other side of the aisle. I mean, you, you really could smile at the people in Philadelphia that are going to have to pay two bucks more. You're going to smile at their children who are going to be neglected from certain things they need because their parents are addicted to nicotine and will be paying so much more through the cigarette tax increase? The cigarette tax increase that so many think they can get away with because so many might look down their nose at somebody who has an addiction to it and think that they need to pay the cigarette tax increase. Mr. Speaker, this legislation here tonight, House Bill 1177, that came to us with the hotel tax increases and and now this cigarette tax increase, which I think the hotel tax increase, I'm glad my county's not included. I'm sure that my county commissioners would like to be included. They like to spend as much as any other county commissioner does. But Mr. Speaker, this cigarette tax is a regressive tax. It's not going to be paid by those who can really afford it. And the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy, Mr. Speaker, of claiming that you're for the poor, and then you're going to turn around and vote for this tax increase tonight, just reeks. We've listened to the cries from the other side throughout the budget process. They didn't vote any, they didn't put any votes up for the budget. But all of a sudden, they come to the table, put up a few for the fiscal code that we didn't really need them for. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Mr. cigarette Speaker. tax increase as an exchange Mr. Speaker, for a vote on the fiscal suspended. code. The gentleman suspend. For what purpose the gentleman's determinity rise? House will come to order. Note, just to note, I believe the speaker is, I'm sorry. Gentleman, Mr. Dermody, uh, for what purpose do you rise? I believe the speaker has, has uh, strayed from the subject matter of this amendment in his discussion. Uh, always, always try to uh, advise members to stay on the subject. I've been paying it close attention to him. The gentleman has been pretty darn close to the subject. The gentleman may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the cigarette tax increase is supposedly being given because the mayor was here in our halls today asking for it. Supposedly the governor supports it. Mr. Speaker, the cigarette tax increase all for the children. Cigarette tax being done for the children, for the educational system of Philadelphia, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, this doesn't fix the problem. They'll never have enough money. Mr. Speaker, what fixes the problem is addressing the foundational problems of our educational system and the costs of our educational system. And when you see 
the average salaries of Philadelphia school teachers compared to the rest of the state, and you recognize that as a major driver for the pension problem we have, Mr. Speaker, you realize why they need this cigarette tax increase. This cigarette tax increase is I'll a plug and hold. I'll come to order. I think I have tried to be pretty fair about allowing people to speak, and there are times when we have to listen to something we don't want to listen to. And I think I've been more than fair on that front. I would ask the members to allow the gentleman to speak. He's running up the edge of it, but he's still on the subject that is before us. And I'd ask the member's indulgence, please. The gentleman may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the need for the cigarette tax has been argued to be the financial needs of the Philadelphia School District. Mr. Speaker, there are other ways to address their financial needs without a cigarette tax increase that's going to be a recessive, regressive tax on the poor of Philadelphia. I'm from Butler County. My constituents won't pay this tax. But I'm elected as a state legislator here to work to craft policies that benefit the whole Commonwealth. And tonight, I speak on behalf of those Philadelphians that you Philadelphia legislators are getting ready to put a tax on. Those individuals that can't escape your city because they can't afford to are going to be forced to pay this tax, and the ones who have kids will be trimming their expenditures for the family to address their nicotine fix. Mr. Speaker, this tax is wrong. This is the wrong way to address the needs of Philadelphia's school district. And I'd ask for a no vote, Mr. Speaker.